the goddamn superstar. Oh, I need some cream on my legs a little bit. That dress is taking like four days. To make it in one day, impossible. Oh my god, Cara! Cara! I just turned 26 and uh, it flies by. It really flies by. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen? Eighteen? 18. 18. 18. Yeah. And then we just added another look. So that's less than half. We're calling this collection Wall Street Banker Meets Velvet Du Jour. It's kind of the contrast of something that's very strict and almost uptight and very kind of pristine and polished with something that's almost kind of more gypsy like and very free and very liberal. Every look that we tried, it was kind of like, does she look weird enough? Does it make you question why did she make that shoe choice or that bag choice or that color choice? There has to be something in every single piece that kind of makes the viewer kind of question her, her choice. And, you know, and I think that's what fashion is about. It's almost about a kind of a strange kind of beauty, you know, a kind of more obscure, weird kind of aesthetic. Alexander Wangs has already created a signature style, an edgy downtown silhouette for a hard partying girl who always dares and loves nothing more than black, black, black. And do you see anyone in his offices dressed in anything other than black? Hello, how are you? Of course the offices are in downtown New York, two stories full of people, some hired very recently. Last year. Three weeks. Three hours. Everybody here is new, right? You, you started like a week before I started. Everyone's pretty new, yeah. We used to be in a turf row. We just moved here like uh, six, seven months ago, and it's already crowded. Yeah, this used to be just one floor, now they have two floors, so. Yeah, I hope, you know, someday, you know, we can take the, you know, he can take the whole building. You know, that would be great. <laughs> we started with just, just the three of us, you know, packing boxes, cleaning, anything. Alexander Wang's label is three years old, but he's already a retail and critical smash hit. There is nothing that doesn't sell. I mean, literally, my biggest problem is we give him a large space and we can't keep it going because everything that comes in literally goes right out, and that's in Hong Kong and that's in Beijing as well. I mean, the guy's a goddamn superstar. The cover of a Shanghai newspaper that says Man of the Decade. There's no room for mistakes here, as his show will be the first ever to be broadcast in its entirety in Times Square. Talk about pressure. It's very dangerous when you become a star so young, but I think it's smart enough to take care of it, I'm sure. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. you. Welcome back. <laughs> Marie, do you think we can make another one? <laughs> this little shrunk. Or at least maybe just, we can maybe save the sleeve, but maybe we just it's need so to show I'm bigger of the shoulder. You've been swimming? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, we can save this part, this part, right? Do you want to get um, Mohammed down here? You just want me? Mohammed is one of the best tailors in town, and he's fast. Yeah, and the boss, too, we need to open at least one inch tall. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one inch tall. This part is not as, this part is not as important. I mean, it is important, but this is priority. Yeah, yeah. If we can the do that. Yeah, the shoulder, that, exactly. Okay. I have to start, a, I mean, the pattern fresh and do the correction and uh, recut a new one and uh, as quickly as possible before tomorrow. So we're gonna stay here all night. Not as young designer right now. This is the most creative place I've ever, I've ever been. This is unbelievable. Everything goes. Please, by hand. Emma is the head of atelier, and she is in charge of fragile signature pieces like this velvet chiffon dress. 
This dress is so gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Yeah. I'm oh, so obsessed. Make sure in very tight. Put a little piping and goes inside. I wouldn't add more than half an inch because we don't want it to get into nipple yeah, area. Yeah. yeah. We got there. We got there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull the screen down, Kylie. <laughs> the cast includes top models like Sasha, Iris Strubegger, Agnes Dean, Edita, but also the comeback of supermodel Natalia Vodianova. Natalia's not walked in a show in New York in, I think, about four years, and she had a Calvin Klein exclusive. So now she's coming in to do our show and purely because she's so excited about the brand, I think, and her agency were, were excited about the brand, so we feel extremely lucky to have her. I met her in Paris, and, um, and then we kind of just stayed in touch, and then, you know, I did a dress for one of her charities. She's really big on charities, so. Um, and then, yeah, and then I was like, oh, this season would be perfect if Natalia did it. And I asked her, and she said yes, so. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for of course. Oh, no, it's just because I just don't walk on the heels like that. Thank you for Oh, here, let's do this. Something it's just because it's slippery. Natalia will open and close the fashion show, the only model with two outfits. It's really nice for me to support a young designer. One of the duties when you succeed is to, to help others. And it's also great for me because it makes me feel part of something that is new and fresh. <laughs> makes me feel fresh. <laughs> That's being a boy. I'll see you tomorrow. This velvet chiffon dress is a piece of design wizardry built to catch the eye of the fashion editors. We're going to bring up the sleeve a little bit because it's a little long. They're going to trim it, and then I told them to pipe it with new chiffon instead of seeing just the, the zipper. Don't we have a new chiffon? Then we it's get not, one. It doesn't match. This. So many changes at last minute. I'm so tired. Oh, 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 oh. Alexander Wang wants to change the chiffon fabric. Right now, Emma, the head of atelier, needs to keep her cool. Don't we have a new chiffon? Didn't we it's get one? Not, it doesn't match the velvet. Can I see it's it? It's like, is the fabric <laughs> right here? Yeah. What is it? Lara? <laughs> Basically, if you want a nude, it has to be really like, like, You can't rip it. You're lying. No, I'm not lying. Because if you rip this, it's so fragile, it's already like, like falls apart. This whole thing has to be done from scratch. Not the velvet part. Yeah. Yeah? The yeah. velvet part? Yeah. You have to do it. Like, I'm already scared all of this is so damaged. It's so fragile, you know? I don't want to talk about it. No, but is it possible? I don't know. To redo this entire dress no, no. for what tomorrow, I, what 5 o'clock? What I can do is keep this the way it is, do the alterations on it. Someone else can do the alterations and then cut the new one and see if it makes it. And then you can't be picky about things. Like this, forget it. You're gonna have to live with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't even have to write new things. <laughs> Alexander Wang still has to check the venue of the show. All will take place in this huge warehouse, an unusually big venue for such a young designer. The decor of the show is very minimalist. Black benches, and a simple black carpet. But something seems wrong. 
almost a combination of the material with the technique of the lighting creates this kind of, you know what I mean? Dust pools, really. That's what it's going to create. And the only thing is, I think it doesn't look expensive. So if you put all this effort into making the clothes look expensive as possible and everything, I, it looks a little bit like murky. Nobody likes the black carpet, but it's 4 a.m., too late to buy or install anything else. I mean, what we could do is sweep it all in the same direction. Oh, that's better, right? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, uh, bye, Tom. Yep, bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye. bye. small mannequin and the, ma uh, the, the model has a big shoulder so we have to add one inch that's why we have to redo it. have no choice <laughs> every fashion week is always like that <laughs> so many changes at last minute <laughs> That dress is taking like four days. <laughs> to make it in one day, impossible. This! You don't have this? Beautiful. Okay, See, look. Wait. Look. I need to show that to him because it's a double, triple shape. No, no, I know. He wants to see it. I know. Yeah, I know. That's okay. <laughs> And this light? Mm -mm. Jesus. Ima and Mary haven't found any matching chiffon to remake the velvet chiffon dress. <laughs> the closest is this one, but it's not, it doesn't really match. And that's right. the closest we have. Otherwise, we have a lighter one, but it's more like cream. Okay, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. I don't want to show it. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, Hallelujah. leave it. Hallelujah. Okay, let's forget about what just happened. This would have been a nightmare. He What's wanted that? me to recut it all in nude for tomorrow night. Are you going to? No, because it doesn't match. Thank God. Okay. I mortified. There's still a lot of alterations left on it because I still have to fix this and this. It's a lot of work. So, but it's easier than making a new one. Oh my God. good. Are you happy with the set now? Yeah, it looked really good. Much better. We're going to actually put water on the floor. Whoa. Just to give it a little bit of sheen. We decided to cover the entire pier with black carpet, and the black carpet just ended up looking really cheap. Very department store, very fashion show, I guess you could say. So we ripped off the carpet this morning, 4 a.m. Sometimes what you think might be nicer isn't and you know you spend twice as much money and and then you gotta scrap it last minute so i'm actually really excited about it i mean we're gonna have a little caravan of cars later after the show to take everyone from the office you know our sales press team friends etc over there and i think it'll just be a really fun experience to kind of sit back it's, it's actually probably the because at that point the show's already done you know you kind of just go there and enjoy it you know I mean, the only thing that could go wrong is if there's like an electrical glitch and it doesn't happen. Hi, how are you? I need a pass. <laughs> Thank no. you. No, sometimes. <laughs> oh my God. This is so cheap. Look, huh? the wet concrete? Yeah. Oh my God, we help it. I'm gonna tell them to pull it off. They need to be tighter, though. You don't want to see any of that. 
Ash oh, hey, Tom. I was just looking at the backstage screen where the video actually was right now. Mm -hmm. Can you can we tighten it a little bit more for the runway video? Can you focus it on. Yeah, I just don't want to see the sun, like kind of like here, you know. Oh, look at the water. Isn't that great? Love it. Look at the chalk marks on the jacket. <laughs> Our own parents, you know, they, they sacrificed a lot for, for us. Um, and I think definitely that got passed on through Alex. You know, Alex is one of the most hardworking people that I know of. All of these jackets were, remember we, we were talking about buttons, but you said the buttons didn't come in yet? So we need the four buttons here. Okay. I'm so tired. He has to deliver. If he's not delivering, I mean, fashion is without, with no mercy. So we'll see. We'll see. It can die from one minute to another. This is fashion. Alexander is a very big new talent now. He's given us, I think, something that you can really only get out of America. So I guess to make it easy, we're calling this collection Wall Street Banker Meets Velvet Du Jour. Wall Street Bankers Meets Velvet Du Jour. Wall Street Banker Meets Velvet Du Jour. Velvet Du Jour. This top is on backward. You know, there's four. There's a there's a Thai Renaissance cup. There's Bordeaux. There's there's uh, okra. There's jade. There, see, all of these leggings are in ox blood too. There's a lot of this caterpillar chenille that we're weaving in, and then this whole part is kind of the idea of kind of Wall Street bankers, but then kind of the new suit and cutting it apart, laying upon each other, taking out the lapels. It's a skirt that goes over the jacket, and all the portions very tight weaving, and all the sleeves go past the, the knuckles. Good luck. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. With Anna's blessing, now the team can concentrate on the show. Oh my, Kara! Kara! Somebody, this top is on backwards. Yeah, can you just turn her back around? Okay. I need some cream on my legs a little bit. To the chest and the feet.
the company started with just me, my sister-in-law, my brother, and it's always been a family business. We've never had outside investors, so nothing's changed since day one. And now we obviously are working with a much larger team and able to delegate a lot more. At the end of the day, I think people still know that I like to be involved in every aspect of the business, that I still love to actually be a part of everything, you know, no matter how, how big, much bigger my role becomes. gowns and uh, if my husband would let me I'd wear one <laughs> I don't know if he would want me to expose a breast to the world but I thought it was very feminine um, very sexual but actually in a classy way I was like feeling that I'm one of uh, not so many people who are in the golden ticket show when you see the people smiling that's the best compliment yeah definitely. no words just smiles I'm calling all my friends right now to tell them that it was the best show and that Everyone has to go buy the new collection. Hi, Mom. Mwah. <laughs> Do you like it? Okay. Hi. Hi. Excitement still abounds, as it is now time to go for the first fashion show broadcast in Times Square. I feel like I am a New York designer first and foremost, and I'm an American, and you know, my inspiration stems from where I live and who my friends are and what our environment is and how that translates into a global identity. You know, this is the city that inspires me and that's why I stay here. And, and to be a part of the energy and what's going on here is very important to me. And of course, Times Square is something that's, you know, it's iconic in New York and it's very much a part of the New York landscape and um, it's just an honor to be a part of it, so. Will you take a picture with my camera of us? Of course. Like watching it, like sure? Yeah, watching. describe this feeling right now, but um, feel very lucky. I feel like a very lucky, lucky kid. <laughs> Thank you. So much. Thank you. 